Hi, my name is Leslie Downs. And in 2020, God did a heart check on me. He began to reposition my heart to see my faith and my family and my government differently. He started to refine me and he started to um, reshape the way I saw things. He took who I thought I was and he flipped it and made me into who he needed me to be. And that is why I'm here today. I want to lift you up in prayer and share a quick word of encouragement from time to time. And my hope is that it brings up your faith. It grows up your faith or it grows your faith in God and helps you to grow your trust in God. But also, I hope that that trust and faith you build in God also begins to build trust and faith in yourself to know who you are in Christ, to know what your purpose is in God's kingdom. So my intention is really just to help you grow and mature and see that purpose and then be encouraged by that purpose and who you are. So I want to begin where God um, began to deal with me. In uh, 1 Kings 18, Elijah is calling down um, on God to set fire to the altar. Y'all are familiar with this story. It says, no more wavering, you know, drench the altar with water. Y'all know this story. But when he begins to approach God, he first says, come near to me. And he takes 12 stones and he begins to repair the altar. Um, did you know that Elijah's name means Yahweh is God? So when he asked people to come near to me, he says, come near to God, Yahweh, your God, come near to him. Let him show you how to repair your altar. And I, I began to, to think about altars and, and what altars are. You know, altars are a place we come to separate ourselves to God. It's where the supernatural and the natural converge and you are filled with his presence. This is the place that you come back to and you remember what God's done for you. You remember where he's taken you through. You remember him and you reconcile and recreate your relationship. I shouldn't say recreate, but you reestablish it. You rekindle it with God at the altar. So I asked God, well, what is it? How do I repair my altars, Lord? Where is my altar broken? And his answer came through a song by Corey Ashbery called Unravel. And I realized that God had to unravel me from this whole world. He had to unravel the world out of me and then ravel himself into me. He had to rebuild me at the altar. And so that's what I began to do. I began to work on my altar and let God tear down everything that the world put in that wasn't of him and begin to fill me with his presence and make me a vessel unto him. So do you know where your altars may be broken or where you need to repair your altars? Come back to God and let him do that for you. Let him fill you with his presence. Let him unravel you from all of the emotions and all the chaos and all the confusion going on right now. And let him remold you and reshape you so you see who you are in Christ. So you see your purpose in Christ. So you see his will fulfilled in your life. So I want to pray for you. I hope that this word encourages you. Um, I hope it lifts you up and gives you something to think about. It gives you a place to begin with God. Begin at the altar. Make yourself a living sacrifice to him. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your unmerited, gracious, loving mercy you pour over us. Abba, please come into my dwelling and unravel the whole thing. Rebuild me at the altar where your mercy will flow over me, where your love will fill me. Father, converge your presence with my reality and overtake it with your kingdom and fulfill your will in my life. 
I want to lift up all my brothers and sisters to you and ask you to overtake them with your presence. Lead them back to the altar and unravel this world from them. Mend them to you, Lord. In Yeshua's mighty, mighty name I pray. Let your will be done. Your kingdom come. Amen. Thank you guys. I hope this encouraged you.